Hi, this is P R Sundar. Welcome to question and answer session. Before going to the session, let me make some important announcement. The webinar sponsored by Bombay Stock Exchange of India Investor Protection Fund, hosted by Elon Markets. Uh, the seats are filling very very fast, and the registration link is given in the description page. So if you are not registered, you register. Before going to the question answer session. I would like to uh, give one incident that has happened in my Twitter timeline. There was a guy who said that day morning the Reliance Industries went to uh, fifteen twenty, then started coming down. It has come down below uh, fifteen ten, and then he tagged me and he said. Go short in Reliance Industries at fifteen eighteen, stop loss fifteen twenty five, and target fifteen uh, hundred, positional target fifteen hundred. Most of the people's technical knowledge is limited to the fact that at today's high, somewhere near the today's high, you go short and put a stop loss slightly above that. But that day itself, Reliance Industries shot up to fifteen thirty when somebody pointed out your stop loss was hit. He said, "No, no. I have taken short in the morning. I squared up with a twelve rupees profit." So, if you are looking at people, I said today morning this, today morning that. Don't ever believe. I know one trader. He put everything negative in the morning on Thursday, and then when the market shot up, and he showed. I said this in my private group. That private group had only two members, and these are all scamsters, and they are trying to attract people by giving all false things. If anyone give you the call before the call is getting triggered, you trust them. Otherwise, don't ever trust the people who said today morning I said in my private group and this and that. Let me tell you a joke. After a long time, four friends met in a hotel, and one guy said, "My son is a great uh, entrepreneur. He made a lot of money, and last week uh, he gifted one Mercedes-Benz car to one of his friends." And another guy said, "My son was a CEO of a company." He is making hell lot of money, and last week, and he gave one of his friends a gift of a bungalow. And then another guy said, "My son is also a very big businessman, making hell lot of money. Last week for one of his friends' birthday, and he gave ten uh, million dollar as a gift, cash gift." And then the fourth guy did not speak anything, and then the three guys started asking him, "What your son is doing?" He said, "My son is not doing anything great, and he is working in a bar." Then all the three said, "Wow, is it really so bad?" Then he said, "Okay, well, not really very bad. Last week he had his birthday, and one of his friends gave him a Mercedes Benz as a gift, and one of his friends gave him a bungalow as a gift. One of his friends gave ten million dollar as a gift. So, well, this is a joke." But most of the time, the people who are claiming that they are very big people, they are <coughs> taking this trade, that trade. You know, uh, they are all like, just like the children of these three big people. So, you think yourself, if anyone give you the call before the um, call is getting triggered, you trust them. Otherwise, don't ever trust the people who said today morning I said in my private group and this and that. Are you going to share some hedging strategy, adjustment strategy in options unlocked webinar session? If not, could you please post some YouTube videos on the same from small traders point of view? I said in many places this is a free webinar. It runs only for one hour thirteen minutes, and of that, my speech is only about one hour. And this is not advanced uh, options workshop. This is for the beginners. So, of course, 
two strategies I have discussed, but not in very detailed manner. Next question, what happens to options expires in the money? What will happen to pledged shares mutual funds with broker if that broker goes bust? I think this I have explained many times. If the options goes in the money, if it's an index option, no problem. If it is stock option, that will be resulting in physical delivery. So if it is stocks or index, I always prefer to close myself before the expiry. What will happen to pledged shares mutual funds? Again, this also we have discussed many times. The SEBI is working out a modalities where you will not be affected even if the broker goes bust, but that will take some time. Sir, earlier you told so many times fake telegram channels issue. I have one doubt here. What he gained while using name and photo ID? He makes any money with using fraud channel. Some people blindly followed them because your ID is same as your YouTube and Twitter. Yes, true. There is this guy who has opened with the same ID as my Twitter ID and YouTube ID, PR Sundar 64. So that is a fake channel. My original channel is only PR Sundar. So this fake channel, after gaining a lot of popularity by using my popularity, uh, he may start giving some calls and some paid subscriptions. So please do not follow any of my fake channels and please report spam and uh, block them. And so for my channel, link is given here. You can click on the link to join my channel. So once again, I tell you, my telegram channel ID is PR Sundar only, not PR Sundar 64. So PR Sundar 64 is a fake channel. So please report spam. Will the exchange charge margin shortfall penalty if I purchase an option with the margin money I received on the same day through equity settlement? I received 68,000 through equity settlement and bought option worth 64,000 on the same day I got a penalty. The trading cycle in our country is called T plus 2 settlement. Let us say you are selling a share on Monday and Tuesday you have to give the shares to your broker and the buyer he will pay the money by Tuesday to the exchange. So let us say you are selling some share, I am buying some share on Monday. So you have to give the shares to the exchange tomorrow, I have to give the money to the exchange tomorrow. The day after tomorrow, you will get my money and I will get your shares. So that is why it is called T plus 2 settlement. So if any share you are selling it on Monday, only Tuesday, Wednesday evening you are going to get the money. So you cannot use that money. That's number one. Number two, if you have bought some options, I don't think that there will be any penalty from the exchange. Penalty from the exchange is only for option sellers, not for option buyers. So by default, your broker would not have allowed you to buy the options. If he has bought the option, your ledger will be going into the debit and your broker will have, would have asked you the question, not the exchange. Hi, sir. Should I square off stock options at the end of the expiry? Thank you. Yeah, I think it is said already, you have to square it off. Sir, suggest few books to understand the basics of share market and options. So earlier I've answered this one also. So NISM series eight is a good book for derivatives. For options, uh, there's a book called Options Trading Strategies. And for option selling, there is a book called Bible of Options. So there are plenty of books are there. And in fact, uh, I'm also planning to write a book, but it may take some time. What happens if you do not close open future position and let it expire? So for option as well as futures, the, it is the same. Even if you have a future position, if you do not close yourself, if it is index future, no problem. If it is stock future, it will be resulting in delivery. So please don't leave it to expire itself. Always square it off yourself. Sir, can you please let us know with what capital you started trading career as option seller and when you started? I started sometime in 2007 or 8. And with what capital I started, it is immaterial to you. That's because those days, let us say I started with 25 lakh capital in 2007. 
25 lakh capital in 2007 will not be same as 25 lakh capital today the money value has gone and second thing those days the lot size is only 2 lakh rupees but now minimum lot size is 5 lakh rupees those days we used to pay only 3% span margin but nowadays margin is very very high so there are lot of moving parts so therefore how much i started you know it may not be the right thing for you to know and i have not done only the stock market trading so i put some money in stock market when i wanted money i took it out again when i did not want i put it back so like this you know i have not done it in a very well organized way how one can know about the share in which fai and dia invested if you go to bsc website you just click uh, search for any share and in the bsc website they will show you what is the fai holding what is the dia holding in every share so there you will know the share holding patterns so every company will have to declare the share holding pattern once in 3 months to the exchange how much fai is holding how much domestic institutional investors are holding and how much the retail people are holding how much is the promoter holding sir how can we get the information of a particular script that how long it will be part of fundo segment most of the time when a stock enters into fundo segment it will continue to be in fundo segment there are some criteria i think let us not go into those uh, definitions but uh, stocks like uh, yes bank you know so they fall drastically from 400 rupees to 10 rupees so then the market cap goes down so sometime they are thrown out of the fundo segment so otherwise you just reasonably assume high liquid large cap stocks will be in the fundo and they will continue to be in fundo so once they lose the market cap or liquidity and there are many other parameters and then they'll be thrown out when the new 6000 per month program is going to start how much risk involved and other things kindly discuss sir today some stocks were down but their pe was not rising why sir uh, is it because of india vix if yes please teach us how to study vix okay the first thing is that is asking about 6000 rupees per month is asking about the advisory program uh, we are actually not very happy with our advisory program so we may not extend it uh, for new people if at all we extend it we will take only the annual subscription we will not take monthly subscription because of a huge follow up things uh, sometimes even when the market comes down put option prices may not go up for various reasons number 1 time decay we are closer to the expiry the time decay is there and second one is the india vix and today india vix has fallen by more than 5% so when the vix falls the probability of market making a violent move is very less so and therefore people will be ready to sell options at a very low price also so that is why you don't see prices increasing sir i have an avid fan of your trading ideas now understanding your technique of hedge and trying to know hedge need to learn more about both especially this hedge can you please guide when is your next webinar on this uh, where i can enroll and get to know more on it so i always say you know if you want to be successful in stock market you need to have hedge and you need a hedge so even in our workshop we teach only the hedging hedging part only we teach and hedge cannot be taught that comes by experience say when everybody was bearish about this uh, problem at the border india china border so i have taken a bullish view and i have given analysis so how you see the things how you analyze and that is the hedge i will tell you a joke in a movie there was one lady uh who was a prostitute and later she reforms and she marries a handicapped person and this lady will become pregnant after that after delivering the baby so both herself and her husband will be coming back to their home and the neighbor will ask the husband why are you feeling so sad 
the husband will say sir i am an handicapped person i suffered a lot in my life but now my baby is also handicapped that is why i am feeling very sad then after that guy has gone about 100 feet away the wife will be coming and she was very happy the neighbor will ask your husband is so unhappy how come you are so happy and she will tell him sir before i marry this handicapped person i was a prostitute and if my child is a normal child the people would have suspected who was the father but i married to a handicapped person now my child is also handicapped now nobody will suspect my integrity so now it's a proof that i'm faithful to my husband and see the incident is one incident but there are two people and they look at a different ways so what happened in india china border is one incident one news but how many people thought okay last time when they had a problem with pakistan you know prime minister announced uh, people who died so their sacrifice will not be going wasted and then after 10 15 days there was a uh, strike against pakistan so everybody they thought when yesterday prime minister said and everybody thought the same thing will happen in china so they became very bearish but i came out with a view that pakistan is different and china is different so i don't think that i can spend more time the edge is all about your experience the way you look at it the way you analyze and if you cannot do all those things so whatever i do it i post it in my uh, blog so you l- read my blog every day you will get my views sir in a 3 to 4 leg option strategy we have to exit in one go or what happens if you are not able to exit one or the other leg please so you always exit together if you don't exit nothing wrong the remaining legs will continue to have its own effect so let us say you have a buy option and sell option the buy option you squared up sell option we did not square up the sell option will attract larger margin money so you should have that then again that becomes naked without hedging so other than that there is no big difference sir would you mentor and teach me how to trade options on a daily basis i am a student and seem to have a bit of problem trading options as i have lost 50% of my capital already i am try trying hard to regain my capital please let me know if you offer courses or anything similar so i really feel sad for this guy he has lost 50% of the capital probably he would have indulged in option buying uh so we have some structured programs so the first thing is that you know people should read my blog and then watch my youtube channels and then they they may attend my courses my workshop so they can learn something and mentorship actually we don't do it so mentorship is open only to the workshop attendees who want to stay with us for a few months and so on but normally we don't take anybody directly as a mentorship consider posting some youtube videos for premium subscribers yes i have already announced that youtube has approved the subscription for my channel and we are yet to work out the modalities but definitely for our premium subscribers we will discuss all the aspects of option selling it is not a question but it is a request please do a workshop for beginners not only for but many 19 to 21 old person need the good base so only i am inspired by you please do it for us i already invested 1 lakh in long term but i need good base in options also yeah so i think i made announcement earlier also we are working on it and we are planning to come out with a series of youtube videos uh, to start from the basics of options so we are working on it and we will be doing it so hope you have enjoyed the question and answers thank you very much